I hope, Lord, my whole being hopes, and I wait for God's promise. My whole being waits for my Lord, more than the night watch waits for the morning. Yes, more than the night watch waits for the morning. Psalm 135 through 6. Hello, and welcome to The Well, a spiritual growth podcast from Saddleback Church. My name is Brandon Bathauer, and I'm excited to journey with you into this season of Advent. Advent is a season to anticipate and celebrate the arrival, the arrival of Jesus. With Advent, we anticipate and celebrate the historical arrival of Jesus 2,000 years ago. And then we anticipate and celebrate the arrival of God's very real presence into our lives today. And we anticipate and celebrate the arrival of Jesus at the end, when God's ultimate plan for the world through the work of Jesus and his people is fulfilled. Advent is about reflecting on the past, examining the present, and looking forward to the future. May this be a moment of pause for you, a refreshing reorienting in the presence of the God who is with us. To start, find a quiet place and get away from the noise and the busy. Find a relaxing spot and get settled. I hope, Lord, my whole being hopes, and I wait for God's promise. My whole being waits for my Lord, more than the night watch waits for the morning. Yes, more than the night watch waits for the morning. Psalm 135 through 6. We are shaped by what we long for. You are shaped by what you long for. The image being painted here in this scripture is of a guard on night duty, a night watch. This guard is waiting. Drowsiness pulls on his eyelids, on his bones. He's counting down the minutes until relief can come, until the next shift shows up, when he can finally exhale, finally rest his shoulders, take off his boots, set aside all the armor, lay down and get some much needed rest. He squints his eyes, peering to the dark horizon with anticipation. He knows that all he needs to see is just a glimmer of the sun's light. Just a hint of that orange hue of dawn will mean that reinforcements are coming. His whole being longs for that sliver of light. It's almost like he's trying to will the light to arrive, flexing every muscle to just get that morning to come. Advent is all about anticipation, anticipating the arrival of Jesus. Jesus is the promised Emmanuel, God with us. And the Christmas season is about living in that refreshing reality of God entering into our reality in a deeper way. Now, anticipation is not easy. It's not easy to yearn for something that you do not have control over. Like a night watch waiting for morning, no amount of yearning can make morning come quicker. But one thing is certain. Anticipation focuses you, and that is what this season is about, a sharpened focus. See, there's no way that that night watchman, peering into the dark horizon, yearning for a sliver of light, would suddenly miss it. There's no way this guard would get distracted and miss the dawn. Not a chance. His anticipation sharpens his focus. He knows exactly what he's looking for. He yearns for it, and when it arrives, he'll know it. His whole being will rejoice at the first glimpse of light. Are you clear on what you're anticipating in the days ahead? What are your eyes focused towards? Can you say that your whole being is waiting and yearning for God's presence? Or is your focus distracted? Is it easy to be so overcome with anxiety, with worry, that you don't have space for anticipating. Take a moment to think about these things. What are you looking for just over the horizon? 
What would it look like for you to anticipate God's very real presence in your life and in this world, in this season ahead? How would you know that He has arrived? I hope, Lord, my whole being hopes, and I wait for God's promise. My whole being waits for the Lord, more than the night watch waits for the morning. Yes, more than the night watch waits for the morning. Psalm 135 through 6. Anticipation is built on expectation. We anticipate an expected arrival of that package in the mail. We anticipate the expected kiss goodnight from a loved one. Because our expectations are built by our experiences. Think about it. We have grown accustomed to ordering something online, then anticipating it, then seeing it arrive at our doorstep. If that happens enough times, you can look forward to that next package with certainty. Like a night watchman waits for the morning, He knows the sun is going to rise because it has risen every day previous. So before we begin looking for God's presence tomorrow, let's remember his presence yesterday and today. When this past year has God shown up in your life? When have you called out to him and he was near? Has he spoken to you at all this past year? How have you experienced his guiding hand during these turbulent times? And how about today? How do you experience his presence in your life right now? Where do you see him moving in your life and in the world at this moment? Take some time and reflect on these things. When you spot glimpses of his presence this past year or right now, thank him dearly for it. We are not owed his embrace. His presence, his work in you, is his good gift to you. So just say thank you. I hope, Lord, my whole being hopes, and I wait for God's promise. My whole being waits for my Lord, more than the night watch waits for the morning. Yes, more than the night watch waits for the morning. Psalm 135 through 6. We are shaped by what we long for. You are shaped by what you long for. The writer of this psalm longs for, waits for God's promise. So what is this promise? What has God given his word that he will do? The promise is God's arrival on the scene. Like the sun rising over the horizon, God had promised the people of Israel that he would come, he would show up, and the government would be on his shoulders. He would come to start something new, to begin healing this broken creation, to begin the bringing together of heaven and earth. And he did that. He came, he loved, he healed, he taught, he died, and he rose as the first fruits of new creation, this new way of doing humanity. Promise given, promise kept. He also promised that he would be present with you that his spirit would be with you, guiding you into all truth, giving you fresh breath, 
giving you a hope and a future. That although you would have trouble in this world, that you would be with the one who has overcome it. He has also promised one day to make all things right, including you and me. That one day there will be no more tears, no more death, no more mourning or crying or pain. Perfect peace. Perfect justice. A leader that would lead with grace and truth and love his people to completeness. He promised these things, and he will do them. In fact, he is doing it now. He is giving glimpses of this promise today, in you and through you, if you would only look for it. Do you anticipate this? Does your whole being long for this reality? Do these promises shape your longings? As you think through the days and weeks ahead, are your eyes fixed on the horizon, straining to see glimpses of his presence, of his promise? Or, if you're honest, are your thoughts stolen by other things, choked out by the distractions around you? What are you longing for? Take a few moments and begin by examining your thoughts Where do you need to ask for your Savior's help to reorient your gaze? Then ask your Father, the one who has arrived out of love for you, to open your eyes to what he is about to do. Ask him to refocus your vision with anticipation to the coming light, to the ways he will offer you his presence in the days ahead, and to the ways he will involve you in his mission to reflect heaven's beauty and justice to this broken earth. Offer him your focus, then ask for eyes to see. Father, build anticipation in me. May I anticipate your arrival with expectation in the days ahead. Please refocus my gaze and reorient my longings, that my eyes would be fixed on the horizon, waiting for your Son. In the days and weeks ahead, may I be overwhelmed by your presence by your mighty work in me, and by your evident work through me for a world that very much needs you. May what is said in these verses be true of me, that my whole being would wait and long for you, more than a night watch waits for the morning. Yes, more than a night watch waits for the morning.